Welcome to another episode of Quote the Warrior. I am Anthony, the Warrior Argeros, NAGA Grappler of the Decade 2000 to 2009, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Black Belt under Carlos Catania. Uh, so, this week I'd like to discuss why I feel uh, Jiu Jitsu, martial arts, the grappling arts are for everybody. We're in a situation right now in the world, and especially in my home country, the United States, where there's a lot of just frustration. There's a lot of violence going on in the street, a lot of unrest. And what I found is that in the years I've been training combat sports, especially jiu-jitsu, you know, you get that environment. You get to go to a place where you can just let it out, okay? Because I know a lot of guys, they like to go to the gym, but they still feel that angst. It's just not quite enough just like hitting a heavy bag not quite enough you need to be able to do something live against another human being to feel capable at the end of the day that's what a lot of us get into the martial art training especially the rough and tumble grappling style of arts like jiu-jitsu judo catch wrestling sambo um mma it's because we want to feel capable we want to know that if it really hit the fan out there without a referee without a sanctioning body, no sport, just a real, you know, live fight situation that we're capable, that we that we can handle ourselves and be okay. I, I just feel that there's a lot of reasons for it. I mean, not just because you have to defend your life, but it's a great place to just unleash it and let it go. I know so many people over the years when I was a training partner, a student, then a teacher, they'd feel so much better leaving than when they came in. They'd come in, stressful day at work, you know, employees on their case, boss on their case, I don't know, stress at school, stress with family, and they need a place to, you know, get it out. They just need to get it out. And I've noticed that seeing these riots going on, especially in America, to my knowledge, I haven't heard of any uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu or judo black belts of well-known uh uh, rank and accomplishment. I haven't heard of any of them, you know, heading up these riots. I haven't heard of any uh, jiu-jitsu uh, fighters that I know personally or that I've even heard of uh, burning down someone's storefront. Now, I know a jiu-jitsu school that did get burned down in one of the riots, and that's terrible, and my heart goes out to the guy. Um, but I don't see people in my game, especially ones that really know what they're doing, that they, they know they're capable, capable of damaging someone too, not just capable of protecting themselves. I don't see them out there causing trouble, doing illegal violence, hurting people for no other reason than because they want to. Now, there's, there's always bad apples in every community, and jiu we've got ours, believe me. Uh, but for the most part, I don't see anybody out there using what they learned in an academy, taught to by someone uh, more knowledgeable than them, uh, going out there and misrepresenting the art by doing something bad and wrongful. But uh, one of the best reasons I could think of why uh, that, that expression that's out there, it says jiu-jitsu is for everyone. I've seen people of all ages, all physical capabilities or incapabilities, I've seen it change their life. I mean, I've seen people, it's a form of therapy for some people. It's an outlet. It's an outlet. It's a format for something. And whatever you need it to be your format, you can mold it to work for you. There's not a lot of things in the world that can offer you that, plus the opportunity to go full speed against another opponent where you both consent. They often say, no injury comes to he who consent. It's an old proverb, but the reality of it is, is you feel a lot better after. I don't remember ever leaving a jiu-jitsu class or a tournament after really rumbling hard with several people saying, boy, now I just feel like going out and beating someone up. Like I want to go fight some guy who doesn't know really how to fight back. It just doesn't cross my mind. It's not something that I even think about, uh, especially after training, you know, especially when you do MMA training, when you're grappling and you're striking. You know you're capable. You don't want to go out and beat some guy up who's, you know, some, I don't know, some drunk in a bar who uh, thinks that he's a tough guy and you know you are one. It's just, it's just something that doesn't even enter my mind. So that's why I think that in everything going on, and especially in my country right now in the United States, it's very frustrating to see people who can't fight. Who don't know how, but they get together in a mob and they throw bricks through innocent people's car windshields and storefronts and burn things down, all in the name of some cause that I don't think they even really believe in because they're not out there doing it by themselves. They're doing it in groups. Uh, 
So I just feel that people would behave a lot better if they had uh, to go several times a week to a combat sports class, practice, get tired, get roughed up, rough somebody up, let it all out, unleash it. I just feel that it's it's for everybody if you give it a chance. But a lot of people don't, you know. I don't know. It's just I just believe that jiu-jitsu and combat sports are for everybody. You don't have to go out there and compete and become a champion like I did. There there's always a format. There is a platform for you specifically. It's up to you. It, it belongs to you once you learn it. It's how you use it that can define you, but a lot of people won't even try that one time to find out. If it's for them. So that's just what I had to say about that. I'm a big believer. Jiu-Jitsu, combat sports are for everybody. I say give it a try. Tough world we're in right now, but you don't have to make it any tougher. Uh, you know, I say give it a try and watch how it could change your life. It certainly changed mine over 20 years of being in this game. Okay, that's it for this session of Quote the Warrior. I will be back with another video next week. And remember, Jiu-Jitsu, combat sports... They are for everyone. Quote the warrior.